spent last night at mile 399.5. So we will hit the 400 mile mark this morning. And it is Tuesday, April 16th. So Pretty close to schedule, I think. Last night was a lot warmer. It was probably 40. I don't know, 42. I don't know, somewhere in there. But uh, yeah, didn't have to sleep with my socks on or my fleece bottoms, so it was nice. So, lots of water around, of course. Ice cold water. So, but so we've been just cruise along. Yesterday we did 15, so I think right up 15, and uh, it's kind of gonna want to be our average. That's what we're hoping. So, but a lot of asphalt walking yesterday, so my feet was really hurting. But, uh, Yep, so really massage the feet down really, really well. So, do the legs massage. Took two ibuprofen. Just because my legs are, feet were tired, sore. So, uh, feel good this morning. Had my oatmeal. The last of the bacon. So, uh, I will be without bacon for a little while. So, uh, what else? This is day three out of Wrightwood. So, pack is feeling good. Only got a one and three quarters liter of water. So it's nice and light. Shoveled a bunch of food in my face. I drank most of my hot chocolate, so pack's starting to lighten up. So it's all good. Get the feet and toes warmed up this morning, and then we'll start cruising. So weather was a little overcast last night; just a little bit of clouds are blowing over. It's really windy up top through the trees, but not where we were at down in the canyon. So that was nice. So. Well, anyway, we'll see you at the 400 mile mark. 400 miles, that's amazing to me. So, just, that's a long ways. So, well, let me see. That would be from my house walking to Sacramento on I 5. Put it in perspective. So, takes me six hours in a car, takes me six weeks walking. <laughs> so. Alright, so the skies are semi-blue, a couple little clouds here and there, but nothing to complain about. We will be dropping more elevation, so it should get a little warmer. So. Yeah, last one out of camp today, which is fine. Like I said, I had my oatmeal and bacon and my uh, huge cup of tea. So, but that's what I like, so that's what I do. And we all catch up anyway, so everybody takes different breaks and we all end up catching up lunchtime anyway so or before so all right see you at the 400 400 miles here with the gang Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. taking all 
our selfies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 400's big. Highway 2 again. Highway 2 again. Ah, I still can't get over 400 miles. It just sounds like such a big number. Sorry, just navigating this redded up trail. Had a lot of this trail maintenance hasn't really started yet, that we can tell. It's through the trails, uh, a lot of tree crossings, fallen trees, going up and over them and around them, and so. Just as I say that. So, still amazing to me how destroyed these trees get with all the wind they have here. So, still fun a little easier to get up in the morning when it's uh, you know above 40 so and I imagine it's just gonna get a little warmer and a little warmer so which will be nice but then it'll be hot during the day so I'll have to start getting up early so we'll get there when we get there For me, it really is one day at a time. So, try to plan your food and how many days you're going to be out to the next town. Grant my wish is usually meeting us at the town, so then we resupply with whatever box we have. quiet highway so but drop in elevation I'm thrilled about that get some oxygen in the air that's seven eight thousand feet that's tough so and I know the Sierras are gonna be 12 I think 9 to 12 somewhere in there so this is just a good long exercise all these miles ahead of time so water 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 everywhere really is nice Slept next to the creek last night, so I got to listen to that all night. So, but no condensation in the tent, which was pretty cool. So, that way the tent's not wet and rolled up. 
So. So now I'm in the lead. The yeah, others stopped at the Glenwood campground area. been following this power line for miles and I want to say 10 miles I don't know if it's just something old can't imagine it being live but really haven't seen where it comes out at all, so. Well, anyway. Hey, a car. First car we've heard today. Bet you can't say that. So. That is definitely quiet out here and there's the poles look like they've been here a long time All right, gotta keep hiking. Still the morning. Nice, pretty rock butte. It's amazing how big the rocks are out here. And there's lots of them. way two again should be a lot faster to just take highway two huh oh sorry I didn't comb my hair this evening oh sorry I haven't combed my hair in five weeks I haven't shaved either I do brush my teeth though And everybody's nose has been running for five weeks, which is amazing to me. Every nose can run all day, every day. Uh, but it does. Maybe in the desert, when it warms up, it'll stop. But, so. Okay. And that's a little cistern, maybe for water or something. But don't need it. See the little buildings on top of those rocks out there, maybe. I'm 
We were wondering if this is the old highway to Wrightwood. I don't know, 30s, 40s, who knows. And that power line maybe something that went with that, so. It had to be a long time ago. Some of the areas we were on were asphalted and pretty much covered up by dirt, but you know, wide enough for the old, old cars. So. But, who knows? Just stuff to think about. And it's funny when we get into town, just driving is, seems like everything's moving so fast. We all commented on it in Wrightwood. So, it's just, uh, we're used to going two miles an hour and everything's zipping by, so. But, he acclimate to out here and nice and quiet and calm and really not too much stress out here. So, occasional bears, you know, gets a hiker, but you know, that's what it is. Cougar, you know, take out a hiker or two, but you know, as long as you're faster than the guy next to you. You're fine. So, I can run pretty fast with my pack for a short distance. So, I should be okay. So, yeah, no mountain lions yet. So, oh, we did have some uh, trail magic. Uh, Andrea, I think, was the guy's name. He was a teacher. He had a bunch of kids with him up there letting them play in the snow on little sleds and stuff. So he asked if we wanted any bananas. So yeah, fresh fruit, man. Oh yeah. So we uh, we got bananas. And uh, he said he'd been watching some specials on it. And uh, that uh, so he kind of knew about how we hiked and weight and everything and. So, uh, fresh fruit is premium. Actually, fresh food is premium. Dehydrated is good, but, you know, it's just not fresh. But when you're out in the middle of nowhere, it tastes good. So, if I can eat Spam, I could probably eat anything. So, Not tired of the oatmeal, which is good. So, like I said before, wife's suggestion to put nuts in it was awesome. So, thank you, Lisa. So, all right. Well, feet are warmed up. Starting to walk just a little bit faster. Try to hit that six mile an hour mark. So. Just think about being on the treadmill in the gym. Not. So. Yeah. It's just so quiet and nice out. Like I said, with just brief interruptions of bears and cougars and lions and stuff, you know. Occasional elephant, giraffe, something, you know. So. Yeah, the zoo we passed way back there was closed up for sale. So I remember videos way back about, uh, they had a bear out there and stuff, but they have moved, so didn't get to see the bear, so. All right, this is nice hiking right now. Man, just flat, a little downhill, wide road awesome so alright gotta go six miles an hour let's go let's do it <laughs> 